Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Malakhov and today I will present our solution for 5G fake news track for medieval 2020 on behalf of the first team. Let me introduce who we are. We are three people, Alessandro Patruna, Stefano Bacconi and me Andrei Malakhov who are working on a prediction whether the tweet belongs to one of the three categories. Either it's a 5G conspiracy, other conspiracy or non conspiracial tweet. We joined this uh, competition rather late and therefore our goal was to create a robust baseline that can be improved further on. If you would have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us with the contact information from the slide. So, what is our data pre-processing steps? Our data processing steps are rather simple because we used only pure text from a tweet, no meta information, so we just need to get rid of a hash signs, hashtags which uh, Many people are using within the sentence and it can confuse tokenizer and BERT model and lead to lower accuracy. So, for example, the quick brown hashtag fox jumps over the lazy hashtag dog hashtag breaking hashtag news became a normal the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and so on. Another part is to replace all the user mentions with a special word user name. Uh, as we're using, as I said before, uh, plain text, there's no extra information in all the variety of uh, nicknames. And when and another thing, when we have a lot of uh, mentions, the length of a tweet can exceed 280 symbols, which will make, uh, which can be problematic for a bird classifier. As as, it, as in the base scenario, it can take only 512 symbols. After we split our data for 80-20 proportion for validation, and uh, start training model. Our model was used. Uh, sorry. We were using an uh, uncased bird space with 110 million parameters. And on the top, we got a linear layer, which uh, classify the 768 dimensions output from birth to, uh, to three probabilities. Uh, each probability corresponds with a label. We use the optimizer Adam uh, without weight decay for bias and normalization layers. So we disable it, so it, uh, the, the coefficient was zero. And we trained it for 20 epochs. Um, the results are following. You can see on the right that uh, our validation loss was stagnating after uh, like first epoch and uh, until the approximately 10th, uh, but after I start improving. After we uh, looked at the best uh, result on epoch based on the confusion metrics on validation. Our goal was to improve the accuracy for 5G conspiracy prediction and uh, we had a higher weight in our internal evaluation. You can see the, the chose the best 19th epoch with the confusion matrix present on the slide and the final score on the test set which was computed by Medieval was 40%. Of course we can improve further and our we have several thoughts how to do it. So first of all, it can be multiple faults to make a more stable model. To, we can increase the complexity of a classifier for several layers instead of one. Uh, use a bird large and uh, incorporate also extra meta information from it with like likes, replies, etc. mentions. And we can also use a ensemble of several transforms: Roberta, Albert, Bert, and so on. That's it.